welcome to today's video. I haven't done like a what I eat in a day video in like quite a while. I haven't really been like on a good like fitness and eating track lately just with like COVID and just like staying inside a lot and working from home. So I'm trying to get like back on like an actual schedule. So I started off with my Mino IQ. It is so good. Uh, it just gives me like a ton of energy and it makes me focused and stuff. So I wanted to start off with that. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So I'm gonna do a quick workout first. Uh, chug this down and then let's see what I end up making for breakfast, which I know the answer because I eat the same thing every single day, but you'll find out. <laughs> in the morning before breakfast, I don't like to use a lot of weights, so I usually do a dancing video. Um, I go on Fitness Marshall, it's called The Fitness Marshall on YouTube, and he's so good. He always has like updated songs, so usually instead of going to like one of his playlists, I'll actually go to see if there's any new songs. So I was looking through this morning and I found WAP, and uh, I'm definitely gonna do that one because I think it'll be really fun. I only do these workouts like when I'm home alone in the morning, which like I am right now, so it's good. Uh, Cause I like to get like aggressively sweaty and just like put my whole heart into it. With that being said, I probably won't film me dancing. So I just wanted to show you guys what I uh, do for it because I don't really want to see or not see. I don't really want to show you guys me aggressively sweating and just dancing to like some sexual moves on YouTube. I'm just not at that phase. I forgot to mention a lot of people ask what I use to like track my calories and stuff. I use my fitness pal app and then I have a, uh, a Fitbit. I almost forgot that name. Uh, I have a Fitbit so I do challenges with my aunts and cousins and moms and all moms. I only have one mom. <laughs> But like I have so many people on my Fitbit app, which I love. I'm just gonna set this to workout and then get my moves going. <laughs> I just finished the WAP dance and oh my goodness, I'm so happy I didn't record it for you guys. The moves were just like overly sexualized and I, I would have felt like a fool if I recorded this. So like hashtag no regrets on that. <laughs> oh my God. So the workout is complete and now it's time for breakfast. I make the same thing pretty much every day even if I don't crave it. Like today, I still make it because it starts me off on a good foot. So I'm gonna make a shake and I'll show you how I make it. So step one is obviously ice because I like it thick and like crunchy, not crunchy, is that the word? I don't know, I just want it to be like a fancy smoothie place, you know? Next, I use some almond milk. I kind of just eyeball it to be honest. And that's now done, so I'm just gonna add some more. I always keep like a bunch on stock because I know that I use them often. No, no, I broke the little like seal thing, like this part. Oh, it's not focusing, but hopefully you can see this. And it's like, oh, I just poured it on the floor. Oh, okay, well, if I pour it on the floor, it might pour in here. Okay, we're back in action here. So next step is, protein powder. I use diesel protein. It is the one made with stevia. I've never found a better like protein in my life. It's this vanilla. So I do a scoop of that and I, oh, I'm so happy with it. I'm obsessed. And then this is protein that I really, really hated. So I just usually put like a half a scoop in my shakes just because I'm trying to get rid of it and I don't want to waste it. So it just kind of like masks the flavor, but it's disgusting. So I don't really like it. It's mango flavor. The next thing that I add is from Teamy. It's a my collagen powder. So I do a full scoop of this. Bane, nobody's here. Okay, just relax. Maybe somebody is here. Oh, somebody is here. Oops. <laughs> Never mind. Good boy, buddy. Thanks for warning me. Hold on, Kyle's coming in the door. One sec. Hello, Kyle. Hold on. Take number three. So I use a full scoop of the collagen powder from Teamy. I find it helps like with my joints and stuff the most. I don't really notice a huge difference like in my skin. Um, and then after that, I use my greens powder also from Teamy, and that's really good. I find it makes a difference because like I'm anemic, so it helps with my iron levels. And it also makes the shake taste like a frozen green tea, which I actually really enjoy. So if you're not someone that enjoys that like taste and flavor, like don't put it in your shake because it's pretty overpowering. But I like to put like a full scoop because I really like the flavor. And then next, all I add is some frozen fruit. So I have like this mixed blend of like mango, peach slices, some strawberries, things like that. So I just add in like a handful of those and then blend it up. And then I just top it with some chia seeds at the end and it's fantastic. I 
absolutely love cooking with spaghetti squash and butternut squash. They're just great sides to have for breakfast and for dinner. I just really enjoy it. So I just cut it in half and then I took out all the seeds and stuff in the middle. It was super easy. You just cut it and then place it on a baking tray. And then I just drizzled some oil on top. It was extra virgin olive oil, which was really good. And then I just placed it in the oven at 425. Uh, next thing, I just grabbed my other squash, which was really difficult to cut, so you have to be careful. Uh, and then I just scooped out the contents of that as well, so it was just really simple. I don't do anything fancy, I just put it on a pan after I cut it and I add some oil. And I usually season it afterwards, so I just put it in the oven until they're basically ready and I'll show you that later. So I just placed it in the oven and then did the rest of my stuff. So I put on my comfy roots pants and I decided I'm just gonna do all my meal prep for like the whole day so that I can just have like a relaxing Saturday and hang out. So while those are in the oven right now cooking, I'm just gonna use them essentially as like a side for my dinner. I do have chili, actually I'll show you. Leftover turkey we had essentially with some beans, some homemade pasta sauce, some cut up uh, potatoes, some, uh, what else did I put in? I think, oh and quinoa. Uh, so then I totally forgot to put the chili seasoning in, so I'll just add that on top. But I was going to have that for dinner, so then I just wanted those things that I have in the oven, the butternut squash and the spaghetti squash, just as like sides, or just because that's kind of like how I prefer to do my meal prep. This is my favorite time of the day. It's salad time. I absolutely love using this package of salad. It has like cabbage in it and some carrots. It just adds texture, and I usually get that from... Uh, Walmart which is really easy to grab because I just basically do all my groceries there I put some cucumbers in some onions slice that up and then the best part is these hot pickles I like absolutely am obsessed with them They make the salad so freaking good and then I add a hard-boiled egg either one or two But it just adds a lot of extra protein and it just makes it really like creamy with the yolk in it So I really enjoy it uh, next I add some chia seeds which are just like the organic chia seeds and some hemp hearts and then it just adds like both protein and healthy fats, which keeps me full. And then pumpkin seeds are so freaking good too. Now that my salad's complete, I won't put dressing on until I eat it, of course, but I wanted to show you guys what I use for my dressing because I actually get that asked quite often. So this is the oil that I use. It's just an extra version olive oil from Costco. My mom always buys for me, so it, I just really like it. It reminds me of when she makes me salads. So I use this. Um, and then I also do apple cider vinegar. So I do one part oil, two parts apple cider vinegar because I really like it to be like kind of sour. And then to cut the sour taste, I actually use, uh, this is Sweet Leaf Sweet Drops, so it's Stevia. Um, it's a really good brand from Costco, or not Costco, uh, from Amazon. Let me just zoom in on that. Uh, it comes to about $15.99 and it tastes so freaking good. It's like a sweet and sour. And it's like so healthy for you because like apple cider vinegar is so good for your gut and killing like the bad bacteria. And then the stevia doesn't raise your blood sugar so it's not like bad for you and things like that. So also if you're on a keto diet, this would be like a perfect option to use because a lot of salad dressings have sugar. But anyways, this will keep me full for so long and I'm really excited to eat that later. I wanted to share like a tasty treat that I've been having like later at night when I'm really craving something sweet. So essentially my mom made these like carrot square bars. They're so delicious. If you want like a video on how to make these, let me know. Uh, but they're healthy. They have like obviously like shredded carrots and like oat flour, like really good things and healthy for you. And then what I do is I use this swerve icing. I put this in a bowl, mix it with water and it's just exactly like a normal um, icing trigger except it's healthier and then I mix it with the carrot square and it tastes like carrot cake like it's so good so I just want to share that with you guys quick because like seriously it's a little expensive to buy this but it lasts so long so I really like the swerve but make sure you read the bottom because they're all different like on what like some they have actual just like real sugar not real sugar but like fake real sugar and then this is the icing one but anyways if you want a video on how to make these squares I just keep them in the freezer they freeze really well then let me know and I'll uh, I'll create that for you. This guy was crying to go outside and I think it was just because he wanted to tan in the sun and then he found this little container that's paper and he's having the time of his life. What are you doing? What is that? Yeah, he doesn't even care about me. He's like, I got this box. The squashes are ready, so you know that if you can like easily pull them apart, that's how you can tell. 
And then for spaghetti squash, you can tell by, oh, I only have one hand, so bear with me, but it should pull and look like little strands of spaghetti. So this is actually perfect. This is what it should look like when it's done. And it's so good with salt and pepper on it, like Montreal steak spice, it's my favorite. So sometimes I just eat this plain like that. Uh, but a lot of times I just put it on the side of things. So I just want to show you, I actually prefer to put meat and sauce like on this bowl and then actually just use this as my bowl. So I, I don't know, it's just cute. But anyways, oh my gosh, how good does this look? So you guys know that I like to keep it real on my channel. So honestly, I'm just not feeling well today. I'm having really low blood sugar and I'm trying to <laughs> deal with Bane, <laughs> who has so much energy, so much energy. And I have none. So with low blood sugar, I find I'm just really struggling for energy levels. So I kind of want to like maintain the energy that I do have and continue to eat well. So I'll eat the stuff that I made. Uh, but I am going to like probably take a bath and just relax and be like really mindful of how I'm feeling. So anyways, I want to be honest with you guys that I'm not going to film anymore. I'm going to close out this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video and then it really supports me and it lets me know if you guys kind of like this stuff. So anyways, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.